Space is continuing to be one of the biggest topics discussed in national security right now. So at the recent Aspen Security Forum in Colorado, former Air Force Secretary Heather Wilson and United Launch Alliance CEO Tori Bruno led an interesting discussion. Here's part of their talk. To defend LEO, we have to contend with a sphere where on-orbit threats could exist that is 30% larger than the entire surface of the Earth. When we go to GEO, where our command and control satellites are, where our missile warning satellites are, that by the way are protecting you right now in the event that they were launched from North Korea in GMD, our system and based in Alaska were to defend you, it depends on a detection and a cueing from Sibbers sitting at GEO. That is eight times the surface area, the, the sphere that must be monitored than we even have in LEO. So it sounds like uh, what makes this an even more difficult challenge is that the old construct of they build a big weapon, we build one too, and we deter each other doesn't really apply, at least yet, because we have far more assets up there that are vulnerable than even the Chinese or the Russians do. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we could pivot a little bit. There's one more thing with respect to this, and Tori is, is, is absolutely right with respect to you need to know, you need to, in any kind of conflict, you need to be able to know what's going on and have command and control. But it is cross-domain. So when we say that, uh, that we need to prevent them from attacking us, um, that may not happen in space. That may happen on That's the ground. Right. So this is a cross-domain fight. Uh, and the other piece that we didn't mention, and, you, and you, you can talk a little about launch, but with the Air Force has acknowledged that we own a space plane, the X-37. It looks like a small version of the shuttle, but it's, it's unmanned. One of the things that's fascinating about that space plane is that it can, it, comes, it, can, it can do an orbit that looks like an egg, and when it's close to the Earth, it uh, is close enough to the atmosphere to turn where it is, which means our adversaries don't know, and that happens on the far side of the Earth from our adversaries, they don't know where it's going to come up next. And uh, we know that that drives them nuts, and I'm really mm -hmm. glad about that. Yeah. 